So I wanted to compare the Global G9, which is about an eight inch bread knife, eight and a quarter inch bread knife, and the Shun Classic nine inch bread knife. The reason I'm doing that is number one, they're both in the same price range pretty much, and number two, they're both very well-known brands. So a lot of times people find themselves trying to choose between the two. Off the bat, let's discuss similarities. Both are handmade knives from Japan, both have a lifetime warranty, and both have relatively similar cutting angles being Japanese knives, 16 degrees on the Shun and 15 degrees on the Global. And obviously both are serrated to get through crusty breads and things like that with ease. That's pretty much where the similarities end. Now we're gonna look at the differences. Obviously, from terms of construction, the Shun is a much more traditionally made knife. It's forged, it has a full tang going through this black pack of wood handle, and pack of wood is essentially a compressed resin-filled wood, and that makes it very, very resistant to water damage and staining and things like that. The Global Knife is actually a two-piece knife. A lot of people don't know that. It is a single blade they make separately. It's a hollow handle they fill with sand, and then they weld it down here and they sort of smooth the whole thing out. The reason is it makes for a very light blade that they can control the weight of very, very well. But the negative is that there have been stories, though rare, of this handle breaking off of the blade. And I think that's sort of the last thing you want to deal with when you're dealing with sharp knives. Aside from that, the G9 uses Chromova 18 stainless steel, which is a relatively soft steel. It's about a 56 to a 58 hardness, while the Shun uses VG Max steel, which is a notch above the gold standard VG-10 at 61 hardness. And the end result is the Shun can hold an edge much, much longer and hold an edge much, much better and stay much sharper for longer, while the Global can take a lot more abuse because it is a softer metal. Uh, so there are obviously pros and cons for both, but my opinion's always been that as long as you're using good knife skills and as long as you're treating the knife with respect, you want to have the hardest metal you can because it gives you much less to worry about and much less maintenance to deal with in terms of honing and sharpening the knife. Aside from that, let's discuss the actual metals. As you can see from the Global, it's just a piece of Cremova 18 that's been sharpened, while the Shun is a piece of VG Max that then has 34 layers of stainless steel incorporated on either side, and that gives it, number one, this gorgeous Damascus finish, but number two, it makes it very resistant to stains and rust and pitting just by virtue of having so much stainless steel incorporated into the blade. On top of that, both knives, like I said, have lifetime warranties, but the Shun also comes with lifetime sharpening for free, and that's always been a deal breaker to me. The reason is because, as you know, if you're taking your knife to a reputable sharpener, a serrated blade is gonna cost you about $10 per inch to sharpen. And even then, you don't really know what the result's going to be. There are always horror stories. So this is about $90 to sharpen. This is about $80 to sharpen. And you're still going to be up in the air. With the Shun, you send it to Shun. They look at it. If they see any problems, they throw it away and give you a new knife. But otherwise, you can rest easy knowing they're going to put the exact same edge back on the blade that you fell in love with in the first place. And they're going to do it for free. I think it's a no-brainer. Either way, I'll put a link down to both of these knives below. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, as always, let me know. But otherwise, I will talk to you very soon.